Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around a 2008 Mariah SC21 Cuddy. Um, the boat presents virtually like new. It's only got uh, 34.1 hours on the engine. We plugged it into the ECU, we verified the hours. It's only ever been used in fresh water. It's in extremely good condition throughout. It has a full set of camper covers, tonneau cover, comes complete with a twin axle trailer. Um, and it's one of our stock boats, so we're selling complete with a three month warranty as well. So this is a very fresh cutty. It's a great little day boat, brilliant for water sports because it's got a 4.3 liter MPI fuel injected engine. It makes 220 horsepower, so it's got great performance as well. Um, and uh, because it's coming with a full warranty, it really is about as close as you get to buying a, a new boat on the used market and it represents excellent value for money. So I want to show you around the boat in detail. I'm going to show you all the features on board, show you just how good this one is in terms of the condition. Uh, and we'll also put it in the water and show you what it will do. Like all our stock boats, this uh, Mariah has been through our workshop and we've given her a clean and a valet. We polished the hull, we've fully serviced the engine as well and just satisfied ourselves that everything's in really great shape um, so we can give you that warranty with complete peace of mind for both you and, and us. Um, but we really had very little to do with this boat. Haven't, it's the type of boat I really like to get my hands on because it's 2008 so it's nice and fresh. Bearing in mind we all know there's been very few boats sold in the, in the, the last few years so um, it really is a, a late model boat um, in terms of what's available on the second hand market. It's extremely low hours, it's only got 34.1 hours on the, on the engine and it has been well looked after as well. It's been stored properly out of the water, um, it's never really been kept in the water for any length of time. It was, has been owned by one owner from you. Uh, it's been fresh water used exclusively from you as well. Um, and uh, it's just taking a walk around the boat, it really does present virtually like new. There's a few little small scuffs and scrapes here and there, um, which I will point out to you. But generally, the boat is in extremely good condition and she looks very striking. So the gel coat has a nice deep shine to it. We've got lovely little. Uh, uh, pinstriping details up along the top sides. We've got a nice black color band on the hull bottom. Because it's a Mariah, um, they're well finished off these boats. So we've got nice stainless steel hand uh, bow rails around the front of the boat. We've got pop up stainless steel cleats here all the way around the boat. Um, we've got a nice chrome rub rail there as well. Uh, and as you can see, everything's in really good condition. Right the way down to the Mariah uh, name decals, uh, all the little button poppers are all there. Um, and it's all in, in really nice shape. The boat looks fantastic down along the starboard side as well. We, we got really deep shine to the gel coat. It's in perfect condition. All the stainless steel fixtures and fittings, the, the, the portholes, um, everything's in, uh, in excellent shape. There are, there's one little area of damage um, where it's obviously got a little knock or maybe it's been caught with an anchor as, as the owner's been pulling the anchor aboard um, in the past, but it's very hard to see. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if the camera will pick it up here or not, but <clears throat> there's, there's three little areas of, of uh, just scuffs. We've filled it with gel coat, <clears throat> and like I said, it's virtually impossible to see. If I didn't tell you about that, you probably wouldn't notice it, but that is the extent of the damage uh, anywhere around the boat. There is no other damage apart from that. Um, that's extremely minor, uh, uh, but just want to point it out anyway. Coming down along the rest of the boat then, again with all these pop-up plates, are all, they're all in good shape and working. Again, the Mariah name, the badge, the, the vinyl, the deck stripes, the black colour band along the hull bottom, it's all in really nice shape, uh, looks the part. You'll notice too that there's lots of stainless steel detailing around the boat, so like the fuel tank filler, the fuel vent cap, again the cleats, all the handrails and things inside. They're all stainless steel, the engine vents across the back. So it just gives the boat a really uh, you know, nice, high quality feel and look. As I mentioned, this boat's fitted with the Mercruiser 4.3 liter MPI stern drive. So it makes 220 horsepower. It's fuel injected, so it gives you reliable turnkey starting and very good fuel economy as well as, as great performance. It's, a, it's an ideal match for this uh, 21 foot hull. Um, and it makes the boat a really good uh, water sports platform so it gets up on the plane quickly um, ID for pulling skiers and water toys and things and, and for just cruising around but taking a look across the, the stern of the boat we've got this nice um, wide swim platform as well it's across the full width 
we've got a three-step folding stainless steel uh, board and ladder and then we've got this little uh, molded in uh, swim, swim platform as well so we've got a huge big area here it's at least three foot wide at the back of the boat which is great for putting on water skis or for blowing up inflatables and things you can tie on rings to the back of the boat whenever you're underway um, and for getting in under the water it's really uh, really handy and straightforward the swim platform sits just above the water line um, so it, you can sit and paddle off the back of it and stuff it's really easy for kids to get in and out of the water so um, again everything here is in really good shape the corners of the platform which are a really common area on these boats that tend to get damaged um, whenever you're parking the boat around the marina and stuff they're all in perfect condition on this one um, the hull itself is in really nice shape um, and you can see we've got these stainless steel engine vents we've got this central ski tow point there in the middle We've got a stainless steel handrail for pulling yourself up out of the water and things. Um, and one other thing I want to point out, which is really good, all these Mariahs come as standard with this remote trim switch. So you can trim the engine up and down you, the, the leg um, from the swim platform. So if, you, if you're putting the boat um, on and off the trailer, you forget to trim it up before whenever you jump out of the boat. It's easy to trim it up here. Or similarly, if you're bringing the boat ashore, at a beach or something, you can walk it ashore and control the, the leg trim from without having to climb up inside the boat. So that's a really nice touch that comes as standard in all the MRIs. One other nice feature on the swim platform is this uh, wet locker. So it's it's fiberglass lined, it drains overboard. It's great as you can use it as, a, as an ice box. You can you can bung the hole, use it like a bait well or something if you're fishing off the boat. Um, and that's, uh, that's integrated under the swim platform. Again, you'll notice as well, you know, all the little hinges are all stainless steel. Everything's in perfect condition. It looks like brand new, all this stuff. Um, but it's a nice, nice quality touches uh, throughout the boat. Whenever we traded the boat in, uh, it didn't have any camper covers. It had a, a flat tonneau cover for storage, but it didn't have any camper covers or bimini tops. So we had this, um, this bimini frame and a full set of camper canvas covers made for the boat. Um, brand new from scratch so we sort of custom designed them I think from their better quality than any of the ones I've seen um, Mariah, come from the Mariah factory the, the covers on some of these Mariahs just tend to let down the overall um, quality feel of the boats a little bit um, so I was conscious that we wanted to make sure we got a really good set of camper covers in this boat so nice chunky stainless steel frames really good solid supports the supports are actually mounted on the fiberglass of the boat here as opposed to on the, the factory Mariah covers, they tend to be screwed onto the top of the windscreen frame and they're a little bit uh, shaky because of that. And they also put on due stress on the actual windshield. So we've mounted them solidly into the fiberglass of the boat. We've set it at a height here so we've got plenty of headroom for climbing on and off the boat. You're not going to hit your head on this whenever you're getting in and out. And you've also got loads of standing headroom inside the boat. So if you're standing at the helm underway, you've got really good standing room underneath the covers. Um, and uh, you don't lose any living space inside when you get all the covers up. So this is brand spanking new, it's cost well, it's over £2,000, it's included in the price. There's a full set of camper covers, so we've got the back section, two, white, two side curtains and a front screen as well, so you can use them whenever the boat's underway. Um, and we've also got that tonneau cover uh, for winter storage or, or whatever um, as well. So um, we're going to fold this up now just to let a little bit more light into the the cockpit whenever we're doing the video in there but just want to point this out to you before we do that and if you check out the, the pictures at the, the very bottom of the page um, on our gulfstreamboatsales.com listing you'll see we'll, we'll put up a bunch of pictures of, of the, the covers in place as well so you can see just how they look whenever you come into the cockpit of this boat you again get the, a sense of um, you know the, the look and feel of, of quality it's well appointed the upholstery looks really rich with a black and uh, beige color stripes through it. Um, this boat is pretty much the highest spec I think you could get. Um, the owner, the original owner kept the, the sales brochure and I've taken a picture of that so you can see if you look through the pictures you'll see it with the, the spec listing and there's lots of optional extras listed on that spec that are included with this boat so it has um, twin bucket seats one for the helmsman, one for the passenger. Both of them have flip-up bolsters as well, so you can stand at the helm seat and the, the passenger seat. Um, we've got this nice wide bench and, and sun pad then across the, the, the stern of the cockpit. We've got stainless steel cup holders and things recessed into these storage bins on either side of the, the cockpit. The boat also has a full, a full fiberglass floor 
So that's a molded in fiberglass floor. If you get any water, it's really easy to keep keep clean. Um, and any water that finds its way in will drain into the build. You can pump it over the side. It's also got court court lights, so little uh, lights, low level lights in the cockpit here. Um, and we've got the stainless steel cup holders up at the helm, sports steering wheel. It's really well specced this boat, and it's got all the little uh, the nice little um, finishing touches that you don't get in some of the the lesser spec models of these boats and, and other brands, you know. So in terms of the condition in here, everything is virtually again like new. Uh, the upholstery, apart from one little mark, to just want to show you here on the sun pad. Got one little sort of—it's not even a tear. It's just like a little uh, where something's caught the fabric, um, as uh, maybe somebody's been getting on or off the boat. But it's, it's on a second on a used boat. It's, you know, it's sort of to be expected. But that's the worst of it. The actual helm seat, passenger seat—they're perfect. The seat bases itself are all in really good condition. All the side panels, the fully upholstered side panels throughout the boat. The windscreen surround still has a nice uh, metal flake finish to it. There's no corrosion anywhere at all through the boat which again is another great feature of, of a fresh water boat um, uh, and everything else you know everything's operational working as it should and really nice shape. Both the helm and passenger seat are fully adjustable fore and aft they also rotate around. Um, there is a little cockpit table that you can mount uh, here in the center of the seating or you can mount it in the cabin as well um, so you can everybody can sit around if you're you know having a picnic on board or having some drinks you've got a nice sort of sociable seating layout it's good that the, this seat turns around so you can face aft and if you're spotting skiers or something. Um, and uh, you know, there's probably comfortable seating in the, in the cockpit here for up to six people. You'll easily get four across the, the bench there um, with the driver and the passenger seat as well. The boat is CE certified to carry the CE plates just down here. It's rated to carry up to 10 passengers. Um, there's more, you, know, you might struggle to get 10 on board, but if you can cram them in, you're, you're safe to carry that number of people. It's pretty good storage as well. Uh, there's storage on either side of the engine, uh, in the engine bay, and also underneath the bench seat, but um, we'll show you that whenever we're looking around the, the engine bay itself. The helm position on the boat is, uh, is well set up. Obviously, with the 4.3 litre engine, making 220 horsepower, the performance is great. Um, and it's important you've got a good helm position, you know, so you can you know, keep good control over the boat. Um, in a sitting position, I'm sort of average height, like 5'10 or something. In a sitting position, I've got clear visibility through the windscreen and out through the side screens. There's an there's a integrated footrest here so I can brace myself against the seat. Um, the steering wheel falls easily to hand. The, the seat is adjustable fore and aft, and there's a tilt position adjust on the steering wheel as well. Um, so it should be pretty easy to get a comfortable uh, steering position. We've got this uh, side mount throttle, this bang up to date one. Um, which again, nice and close to hand. Uh, and like I said, we've got this flip up bolster. So if you do want to stand at the helm position, you just flip that up and you can either sit on it, give you really clear visibility over the screen or there's room to stand up as well. So um, I think it's a really nice helm position. It's well laid out as well. So we've got a full range of instruments, uh, the original Mariah gauges with a voltmeter, the drive trim angle, engine temperature, engine oil pressure. We've got a speedometer, our fuel gauge and then a, a taco with a digital hour meter. So we we'll just turn this on. The taco is showing 37.5 hours. Um, now we plugged into the engine with the diagnostic software that we have as Mercruiser dealers and the engine is showing 34.1 hours. The reason for the discrepancy is that whenever the ignition switched on, um, the taco will count hours. Um, so that's, there's always a little difference between the taco and the engine, but the engine is the one that counts actual engine running time. So 34 hours run, there's no fault codes on it. We've got a clear fault history as well. Um, the engine's not even running. You know, the oil is crystal clear. I'll show you now when we take a look in the engine bay, but um, this is like, it's like brand new, you know. Um, and we're standard over with a full three month warranty as well. So we've also got a, an integrated digital depth sounder here in the dash. We've got two stainless steel cup holders. We've got full second set of keys for the ignition in the cabin. We've got all our 12 volt switch gear here, bilge blower. We can turn the stereo on from here. The stereo itself is mounted uh, in the, by the passenger seat there. It's all in perfect working condition. Um, we've got our nav lights, our court lights, uh, and then 
builds pump and accessories for powering up uh, the integrated VHF radio. So we've got a Cobra DSC VHF radio, and we've also got a Raymarine A60 chart plotter and fish finder installed on the boat as well. Now because these sports boats, uh, particularly these American ones, they quite often don't really give much thought to retrofitting electronics, so it can be difficult to get a good position to mount the electronics. Um, it's that screen it's, uh, on the Ray Marine is, is quite a big screen, so it's fairly readable from the helm position. Um, you just have to make sure you keep the cabin door closed because when the cabin door opens, it's going to cover that up. Um, but like I said, it's about as, as good a place as you can find to, to install something like that on this boat. Um, and it's a good thing to have along with the VHF. So if you're going to use the boat even around the coast, um, you know, it's well set up with all the electronics you'd need for, for that sort of use. So um, we've also got a 12 volt power outlet here um, and this stainless steel and, and sort of leather effect steering wheel, again, gives the whole dash area a nice, a nice plush appearance and feel. So what we're going to do um, once we finish up in here is we're going to fire the engine up, let you hear how it runs, and we're also going to put the boat through its paces in the water just to see how well it does perform. But suffice it to say, with that engine, really refined, easy to start, just turn the key to start it up, it's just like starting a car, and um, it gives great fuel economy as well as, as well as great performance. Over on the passenger side of the boat then as well, we've got another little integrated uh, cubby hole for storing things like phones and keys and stuff. And then there's little molded in storage bins um, down at the deck level with, a, with two more cup holders on the passenger side and on the driver side. So lots of cup holders uh, throughout the boat. Easy engine access on these boats is important because you want to be checking your fluid levels and checking your bilges and stuff every day before you head out in the boat. Um, and this one does it really, really easily. You just lift up this whole uh, seat back assembly, just lifts on a couple of gases as struts, and then we've got good access into the engine. So as I said, it's a Mercruiser 4.3 liter MPI. Um, it's in its original uh, factory condition. We haven't, we haven't even degreased this engine. It's just, you know, we just sort of left it as it, as it is because it's pretty much immaculately clean. There's no corrosion anywhere around it. As I said, it's only done 34.1 hours. Um, I'll show you the engine oil here so you can just see for yourself that it, it's crystal clear. Hopefully you can see that, but it's still crystal clear. Um, we have given it a quick service, but the oil was like that before we changed it, but um, we've given it a oil and filter change. We've changed the fuel filter. We start, we've changed the oil in the gearbox a stern drive and just given a full inspection done that diagnostic check and we're gonna I'll put those uh, the engine diagnostic reports up uh, along with the pictures as well so you can see for yourself um, that she's clear fault history and things the batteries down in here you can see we've got these two dividers either either side of the engine so you've got room for storing fenders ropes and bulky gear either side of the engine bay there um, and then we've also got storage underneath this uh, the seat base as well. So at the moment we've got the camper covers and the tonneau cover down in there, but again it's big enough to swallow up uh, loads of gear.
Access into the cabin on the boat is through this uh, sliding uh, Perspex door, so it's, it's running nice and freely on the rollers. There's one small step down into uh, a really large cabin, actually for a 21 foot boat, it's a great size cabin. There's easily enough seating room in there for up to four adults at push, but two or three quite comfortably. Um, to get access out on the fore deck down here as well, probably closing off the door just for safety, this centre section of the windscreen opens and there's a little fold down uh, stainless steel step so you, it's easy just to climb up on the fore deck. Everything up here, the, the floor is all moulded, non-skid and there's a decent sized anchor locker up at the front of the boat as well so if you're dropping anchor over the side, um, safe area to work from up here. Coming into the cabin then, like I said, there's one shallow step down, um, so it's really easy to get in and out of the cabin. We've got a traditional uh, V-berth arrangement, so we've got this U-shaped seating area for during the day. There's two filler cushions there that fill up in this centre piece um, to make an, uh, quite a decent sized double berth at night time. We've got this little overhead reading light, we've got a couple of speakers in here for the stereo. We've also got two port lights and a large uh, deck hatch or letting a bit of natural light in here. This doubles up with like an escape hatch as well for safety. Um, the upholstery in here is, is really nice, nice beige colour again. It's one of the great things about selling, you know, fresh boats, 2008 boats, is that all the upholstery colours and the carpet co colours and everything are like buying up to date, nice and clean and modern looking. So this beige upholstery is in perfect condition. We've got these upholstered seat backrests as well. So if you actually are sitting in here, you've got a backrest and stuff, you know, it's. It's been well thought through. Some of these cutty cabins you get into and you know you're lying against the side of the boat, there's no backrest or you lose the headroom, you know, immediately. You know, I've got sort of decent sitting headroom and there's enough room for somebody to sit beside me here and you know two people sitting opposite as well. You can put the little cockpit table in here as well. So if you're sitting down here having you know the kids are having a picnic or something, you can do that pretty easily. Um, and then at night time, you know, it's it's fine for it, like you know, it's still sort of like camping on the water, but um, if you want to spend an odd overnight on this boat with the full camper covers and stuff that you've got and the accommodation in the cabin, you can do that pretty comfortably. With, on, in that vein, the, the boat's also fitted with a little uh, water tank and a, and a sink here, so there's like a little hand primer sink um, molded into the boat and there's also um, Check you can check from the pictures. Well, here I'll show you just. So we've also got this, uh, you know, portable uh, camping gas stove. So you can unhook that, set it out on the uh, on the table in the cockpit, and you've got a little uh, portable stove there as well. Storage up behind the uh, the seat backs, uh, and also the storage underneath the seats as well. So yeah, just it's a really nice, uh, well appointed cabin. So there you have it, this is our 2008 Mariah SE21 with uh, less than 35 hours on the clock. It's got a 4.3 litre MPI, 220 horsepower Mercruiser stern drive. It's got a fantastic spec level. We've got a GPS chart plotter fish finder included, we've got a VHF radio. It's got a brand new set of camper covers, um, extended swim platform, the upgraded upholstery package in here. The, lots of stainless steel um, design touches with pop-up cleats to the stainless steel cup holders and handrails and things. Um, and overall, it's just a really nice, high-quality boat. It's in immaculate condition. It's virtually like new, and we're selling it complete with a three-month warranty just to give you total peace of mind as well. So um, taking it all together, I think it represents excellent value for money. And if you're looking to move up from a smaller bow rider um, or even a smaller cutting cabin boat, then uh, this would make a, a fantastic buy for somebody. Great family boat for day trips, whether you're using it around the lakes or the coast. Um, and if you're into water sports and things, you want to be able to pull skiers and rings and stuff like that, this boat will do that with ease. Um, and because you can get it on and off the trailer pretty easily, it's uh, easy to transport and, and uh, store and stuff like that. Um, it's really nice, easy boat to own. So I really like it. Um, it's the type of boat that, um, that's similar, very similar to the type of boat that we have ourselves, the type of boat I really like um, for our own family and if you're interested in it or if you want to arrange to come and have a look at it and get a run out on it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Just uh, drop me an email or give me a call or you can follow out the callback request form on the website and I'll give you a shout at a time that's convenient. Thanks for watching.